that a 38-sided die from Dungeons, Dungeons, and More Dungeons? Yeah! You, you know that game? With pen and paper, shield and sword, our quest shall be our sweet reward! They're the same person. That is funny. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 2, Episode 13 of Gravity Falls, Dungeons, Dungeons, and More Dungeons. If I had to guess, this might be a Dungeons and Dragons themed episode. Oh yeah? Yeah. Um, it's a funny coincidence because I just played Dungeons D &D. and Dragons for a good six hours today. Um, it was super fun. D&D, it's probably my biggest hobby right now. So... I'm excited to see how it could be incorporated. Uh, what do you think that could mean for this episode? Because Montana also has played d and I have played a couple games, yes. Or I've only played a little, but I feel like the part of the game that's most like transferable is the dice portion. So maybe in this really? episode, there are going to be like components where... Yeah. You wouldn't think the monsters or the game itself? I think they might just be playing the board game. Maybe. That'd be a fun episode. Maybe yeah, that would be fun, them. but I feel like this this show's like whole thing is like the overlap of fantasy and reality. So I feel like if D and D were to like be in Gravity Falls, what would that look like? Maybe that would be really fun. And uh, if you're excited for this episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below for episodes coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms. All right, are we excited for episode 13 of season two of Gravity Falls? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. I just ate a bag of cheese boodles without using my hands. Good Thank lord. Thank you, you are delivering in a big way. That Please. sounds awesome. We have a day where nothing yeah. interesting happens. That jinx is it. That was what's the Oh. Yeah. Everyone get down. Don't let it taste human flesh. What the heck is he doing? I'm glad that he's just in the show now. Yeah, right. That's fun. Oh. Oh, it looks like the Demogorgon. Hmm. D&D. &D. Yeah. That's that's why I that's why I was making the reference. Yeah. That's why I was Luke, acknowledging the stop? reference, Montana. That's that's why I acknowledged what you said. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Are you bribing her with chicken? Montana has smuggled in treats to get her to come over. Smuggling implies that this is something I'm not supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah. But is this not? Yeah, it's pretty cute. Get her to stand up real quick. Whoa! <laughs> People Yay, really loved Ru. the room time before. That we had some, How could you not? We had some She's cat time. She's so beautiful. People seem to like it, so maybe we'll do more come cat here. breaks. Cat break. We're doing some cat training. Oh. oh, there's my good girl. She's loving this. She's very smart. Little beastie. Good girl. <laughs> Can't do that in front of the mic, got ASMR. You were just generating content all over the place. What's a cat ASMR pun that we could do? Because it waddles. That's so bad. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll go fuck myself. No, just think of a better one. Great. He's so proud of himself. Smells like if death could barf. <laughs> Great Uncle Ford, Did you need any help with that? I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, Dipper. On the dark, weird road I travel, I'm afraid you cannot follow. Well, call me for dinner. Well, that's a jerk move. I know he's like trying to protect him. Or yeah, whatever. but like a little bit of an explanation would be. Oh. All summer long, I've wanted to know who the author of the journal was. Now the guy lives in our basement, and I can't even talk to him. You belong up here with me and Mabel. Yeah. Besides, the season finale of Detective is airing this Friday. Detective. Nice. Quack with us, Dipper. <laughs> yeah. Quack 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 quack. quack, quack, quack. It's funny that Stan's job is done now. Like he's finished his task, so. Yeah. He just wants to hang. Quack! Very true. Why isn't he quacking? Da, 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 Why da, da, wouldn't da. you? I got it. 
I nice got the work. timing exactly. Did you see that? That yeah, that was really good, babe. Are you being funny? No. Are you Why being would you mean? think that? Of course not. Just yesterday, gravity reversed itself, almost destroying the universe and totally wrecking the whole town. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, wrecked the town. I forgot. All about right. That's <laughs> good. Let the rebuilding of the town begin. Wrecking ball, start wrecking things. <laughs> what? <laughs> that killed the broadcast. Now we have two Brunkles for the price of one, and they are. Who is she writing to? Uh, her her mom and dad. Gotcha. Do they know about the brother though? I don't. Because if really they're family, know. wouldn't I would assume? Maybe they'll think it's the ramblings of a kid or something. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You'll never guess what I found at the store today. Dogs with hats! No, it's my favorite <laughs> fantasy level counting statistical yeah. graph paper involving game Dungeons, oh, yeah. Dungeons and more dungeons. Oh yeah. Very cool. The rules are simple. First, you roll a 38 sided die to determine the level of each player's statistical analysis power orb. Is this the amount of quadrants that your team has dominion over, which is inverse to the anti quadrants in your quadrants? <laughs> is this correct? No, it's no, making fun just... of how complicated it is. Okay. It's not really that complicated, but it's just really funny. To the outsider, it sounds like this. The outsider. Hey, Zeus. Up for a little game of D&D &D and more D? Oh, sorry, Dipper. I'm uh, going for that pen and paper kind of stuff. I'm more of an F Clorper. Foam and cardboard legitimate outdoor role play. It is where <laughs> brethren of craftsmen bring their dreams to magical reality. Are we gonna get a LARP? Never Fantastic. Fireball, 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 fireball. Is this something that happens? Never fireball. Fireball is a spell. It would be Well, that's I meant like in real life where people People LARP, yeah. Live action role play. <laughs> okay. Did you not know that's a thing? No, I did. I did. Um, hi, babe. Um, you just call a cat babe. I'm babe. You are. Can, you can both be babe. My baby. My love. My angel. Which one does that refer? To? All. All can be multi-purpose. All are multi-purpose. <laughs> Look at her mane. She's so beautiful. She's so pretty. Hi, muffin. No, I know what larping is like as a concept i didn't know that they did it specifically for dnd this isn't dnd he's saying he's more into that than D. &D. okay okay is this that game that's mostly math and writing and isn't anything like the picture on the box yes it is you want to play with me Grunkle stan i prefer to do my dice rolling in vegas besides only a game designed <laughs> by nerds would have charisma as a fantasy power huh <laughs> wait that's funny <laughs> <laughs> you guys just aren't smart enough to understand it. <laughs> oh. Sorry, dude, but it is kind of nerdy. Well, I'm off to lay siege to a goblin fortress. Dang. <laughs> You're all being so mean to him. You rolled a 17. <laughs> and this is sad. Maybe I should start obsessing over Wendy again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Gompers. Let go. Ah, oh, oh, man, my 38-sided die. You think I'll find a secret portal where there's a wizard? Oh, underneath. Oh my goodness. He was just in oh, the lab? Oh, he just made it down. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Crap. Dipper, stop! Great Uncle Ford! What did I say about coming down here? It wasn't on purpose. He would love the game. <laughs> True. Is that a 38-sided die from Dungeons, Dungeons, and more Dungeons? <laughs> yeah! With pen and paper, shield and sword, our quest shall be our sweet reward! They're the same person. That is funny. I can't believe they still make it. They do. And I've been looking all day for someone to play with me. My boy. Do we know his voice actor? It's J.K. Simmons. Oh, fuck. We already talked about this. Okay. Yeah. It's like he sounds so Also, familiar. that monster is crawling away. Yes. We must stop everything I've been working on at once. And play. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. Okay, I think we've got everything <laughs> we need to watch the season finale of Duck Texas. That looks fun. That does look really <laughs> fun. <laughs> She's really Hell yeah. creating a lot of innovative methods for snack consumption that, in this episode. Yeah. We love it. Oh, six sides. <laughs> six fingers of me. But wait, it's a trap! <gasps> An illusion <laughs> cast by Probabilitor. You know his weakness, right? Prime statistical anomalies over 37, but not exceeding 51. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that's real. That's funny. The old boy looks a bit different than he did back in my day. Thankfully, you missed the period when the creators of the game tried to make it cooler. Man, this game is boring. You dare challenge probability? I'll put the cat back. Oh my god. Yikes. Sounds like a good time to be stuck between dimensions. Great Uncle Ford, where were you before you came out of that machine? And yeah. what have you been doing down here? Dipper, it's best if you and the family stay away from that subject. Honestly, I'm not sure any of you could handle the real answer. But I can show you a little something I brought back with me. Whoa. An infinity-sided Oh. Die. What? Oh, what is so cool. that? Look at those symbols. Infinite sides means infinite outcomes. Anything could happen. Our faces could melt into jelly. The world could turn into that has to be rolled. Oh boy. Just roll an eight. That's why I have to keep it in this protective cheap plastic case. Now, back to the game. Huh. You've got probabilitor on the ropes. Oh no. And then if I had a dragon here and then a plus three fire Zipper, move. Are you going to go to sleep? You've been That is very real. <laughs> the post post game prep for the next game where you're like, oh, I could have done this. I could have done this. Very nice. Lately, huh? I knew the author must be cool, but he's better than I imagined. And he doesn't make fun of me all the time the way you and Grunkle Stan do. They are kind of making fun of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, they are, literally. You got me. I mean, like, stop making fun of him. Like, yeah, I think that's maybe the realization yeah. she just had. I bet they'll play. Thanks for coming over to watch or maybe not. detective finale, Grinda. Hey, hey, look at you. Someone's all dressed up. It's a big night. Feeling positions, everyone! Oh, Grass paper! Kill it! Kill it! Dipper, <laughs> can you maybe move this to another room? We ran out of room in the basement and we're going for a world record. You want to break a record, Ford? You already got it for world's nerdiest old man. Hey, at least I'm not all keyed up to watch a kid's show. Detective has a big mystery element. And a lot yeah, this is gra about Gravity Falls, I bet. <laughs> Did it ever occur to you that if you joined us, you might actually have fun? What? I will never. Uncle Stan, wait! Ever! Stanley! Play your smarty pants nerd game! No! Oh no, he's gonna roll the infinite die. Oh. Oh, he rolled the wizard. Kneel before me and... <laughs> Snivel! <laughs> I am Probabilitor, the greatest wizard in all mythology. Have you come to send us on the quest of a lifetime because we're the smartest players you've ever met? That's why I'm going to eat your brains to gain your intelligence. It's what I do. It's his hmm. day. What? Your math is no match for my gun, you idiot. Math ray. <laughs> math ray. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> well, Nobody. problem solved. We have to stop him! Uh, maybe let him get a couple bites in Ford's brain first. Even things out smartness-wise. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if we have no other choice, we'll go on a... Uh, epic wizard quest. Alright. Perfect. Oh, nice. We're coming for you, Zipper! And Great Uncle Ford! And possibly that hot elf! If he's got anything to do with this! Hmm. Hot elf. <laughs> That's a Starian. That does look like a Starian. That's literally him. We've been playing Baldur's Gate. Yes. Montana just killed Alfira. You did. You have to give context. No, I don't. That's there's only one way that can happen. <laughs> we must be getting close. These fairy bites are getting more frequent. Hey, look, oh. listen. Wait, what? Did it just say, "Hey, look, listen"? Yeah. What? what? What do they even mean? I don't know. If ye wish to pass, first, ye must complete seven unworldly quests, each more difficult than the last. They're gonna get around him, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh. Glad she's here. I'm sure he's fine. There's no cops in the forest. We take this to our graves. <laughs> <laughs> International waters. Yeah. <gasps> oh, she just brought a whole oh, chair as a weapon. Hey, we've all seen the videos. The video. <laughs> the way I would be so excited about this. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
There better be something protective under this tunic. That's the thing you're gonna notice? <laughs> oh no. Come on, this game was a lot of fun. I had my mom pack me a lunch. Ew, apple slices. I'll eat you last. With the seeds? <laughs> Let the game begin! That's what D and D is. <laughs> but also risk and imagination. Risk, imagination. <laughs> that actually they are good be, at yeah. both of those. Shield of shielding. What? Shield of shielding reversal spell. Oh. I cast Google Time Bouncy Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> this is a little different, but I love it. Ogre NATO. Kill me. Centaur Tar. Centaur <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. That's Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. What is that? The Impossible Beast. Hey, I thought they banned this character. I'm playing the controversial 1991-1992 edition. Oh, the one that everybody hates. Is that a real thing? He said in the 90s they tried to make it cooler. Oh, earlier, you're right, so you're think, right. Yeah. Yes. So maybe there's it's another way to counter it. Interesting. Maybe they'll summon his opposite, the mm. cool one. He can only be defeated by rolling a perfect 38. But the odds of that are hey. One in thirty-eight. You when you're a world-class gambler. <laughs> no way. Uh, <laughs> no. Sorry, nerd Nice. <laughs> now this is a real thing, where nice. you'll have a huge beast and somebody rolls well, and it's like, well, they're dead now. <laughs> <laughs> the game is like over. Excelsi, whatever. That's. <laughs> This is literally an Asterian call out. I cannot believe I've never seen that reference made. That's so funny. I'm turning into pure math. What are the odds? <laughs> How did you know that you would win? Hey, a gambler never reveals his secrets. They waited. Oh, uh, the, the, I, the gum he was chewing. Nice. I'm sorry for making fun of your game, kiddo. And if you two want to hang out sometimes, I won't get in your way. Actually, after all that, I could use a little mindless fun. Now that's not real. <laughs> you just want to play more. <laughs> I bet you his brother's gonna cry or something. <laughs> the only person clever enough to defeat Detective is <gasps> Detective. <Paul! laughs> there we go. That's the big twist we were waiting for. What a Ugh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Dipper, can I tell you something? Oh. You asked me earlier what I was working on. Is he trying to go back? Well, I dismantled the portal. Oh, the okay. The gateway is too dangerous for the world it feeds into. The instability of the machine created this. An interdimensional rift. I've contained it for now, but it's incredibly dangerous. In my time, I've made many powerful enemies, but I trust you with this secret. Good Sweet. Night, Gain his respect. Good night, Dipper. This is suspicious. Yeah. The interdimension interdimensional rift is uh never a good sign. No, but I mean the way he was looking at it at the end. Yeah. That we use fantasy as an escape to avoid the self improvement we all need. <laughs> that maybe we should just go out and grow as people. Fortresses can't speak dirty. Nah. I'm a fortress. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Long day. Long day. Wow. Town hall meeting this afternoon to discuss replacing him. New mayor, huh? Is he gonna run for mayor? Stop. And that is where we are left for this episode of Gravity Falls. What are your first thoughts? Very fun episode. I'm loving seeing more of Dipper and Ford having so many shared interests and similarities. Yeah, it's literally so like amazing to see somebody that's similar to Dipper. Like, yeah, well, especially because I feel like they've been 
really like laying the groundwork for Stan and Mabel having a lot of similarities and Dipper being like the like odd one out. Yeah. So having him, I don't know, it just, it, it all works. Yeah, I absolutely love the new dynamic and I'm glad we got an episode focusing on them too because I feel like they, they needed to like have interactions because Dipper's yeah. been so excited to meet him and like them having common interests is great. So, and also learning about the interdimensional rift. Can't wait to discuss, to discuss it all more. But if you enjoyed that episode, make sure to hit like, comment, subscribe down below and check out the Patreon to see these episodes right now. Uh, we have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Question one. Green Dragon 53 asks, putting aside the conspiracies and character analysis for a moment to talk about what matters here. How did this episode make you feel on a scale of called out to scene in terms of Dungeons and Dragons, sorry, in terms of Dungeons, Dungeons, and more Dungeons being a parody of Dungeons and Dragons, and if you two got to run a one shot with Dipper and Ford, who out of the four of us would be the DM? I think the second answer is super easy. Yeah, it's gotta be Ford. Gotta be Ford. His he mind. He seemed like he just like really is well suited to that kind of thing. And he's seen so many things, like I feel like he could just absolutely think of the craziest plot so he would be the dm but mm -hmm. in terms of called out to being seen there was a lot of it that was being seen where it's like you get made fun of even though it's just it's really fun when you get down to it and the called out part i would say would be the rolling and whatever happens you just make up what happens like that's that's not really what happens but i could see how if you were watching you'd think that's what happening like it's mm -hmm. did you, is that how you felt a little bit kind of yeah montana was i've only played a couple games you played one, I think, right? Well, I, and then also Baldur's Gate. Is that... I mean, that's oh, yeah, okay. That, that's yeah, like... You that some counts. Gates. Yeah. I did Baldur a gate or two. Yeah. But she... Yeah. I, I, I think it's a... Uh, it's a lot less of just a random roll to die than I thought. But there are some times where it's just... If you don't roll well, it's not going to happen. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it was, it was a great balance of those things. And, like, I really liked the way they portrayed it. All right. Let's go to our second question. Question two, Max F asks, what duo do you think is more intriguing, Dipper and Ford or Mabel and Stan? Like at this point, Dipper and Ford, because we just haven't seen that much from Ford and so much of Dipper's character has been driving towards figuring out just the whole situation with the journals. So there's so much background and buildup that's had no potential to go anywhere, whereas Mabel and Stan have kind of been like having their dynamic the whole time. Yeah, I agree. I, I think Dipper and um, Ford is more interesting to me right now because like there's just so much possibility exactly. remaining. Yeah. Whereas I feel like it, it has been entertaining, entertaining to see Mabel and Stan throughout the series. 100%. Yeah. Um, all right, let's go to our final question. Final question. Annabella asks, now that we've seen more of Ford's personality in the present day, what do you think of his character? How, if at all, do you think his relationship with, with Dipper will affect the dynamic in the house and or Dipper's character? I think he's a super interesting character, especially given the fact that we don't really know what was happening with him while he was like in the void portal situation. I did think it was sweet that it seemed like he was trying to protect Dipper from like how dangerous everything was. But then also once they had like shared interests and a conversation started, they're just so similar that they couldn't help but hit it off. It's really cute to see. It is yeah. very sweet. Yeah, I think there's a lot of possibilities with this character and I've really enjoyed how he's just kind of like inverse of Stan in a lot of ways. Yeah. Um, But like still kind of similar build. Like it's just, it's funny getting to see a lot of the reason Stan acts the way he does in a way. Totally. Um, Well, especially since he's like kind of been pretending to be his brother, you can see like where the overlaps were naturally and where the overlaps were like very deliberately put on. Yeah. And uh, as for his influence on the house, I feel like he's good for the dynamics because he can handle a lot of the crazy stuff that's happening. But like, I do wonder if Dipper's going to want to become like him and like kind of go off on his own from everybody. And if that's great for him, because he's already kind of has a tendency to do that. Yeah, I think potentially seeing like, I don't know, I, I think it's possible to see like the later version of what your life would look like if you continue down a certain path 
and not want to continue down that path, but still enjoy hanging out with that person. Like I could definitely see Dipper coming to a conclusion of like, I have a lot of fun hanging out with Ford and like we have some really great conversations, but like ultimately this isn't enough for a rewarding life. And maybe that like conversation helps everyone in the house. I don't know. We'll see how that relationship continues to develop, but mm-hmm. definitely an exciting new element to add into the gang. Um, and we'll see how it goes moving forward for our last seven episodes. But that is where we are left for episode 13 of Gravity Falls season two. Are we excited for episode 14? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go.